Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Noel from Addis Ababa University. Today I am going to show you how to solve this problem. This problem is the same as question number 13. If you can see the last 13 question, I recommend that question and come back here again for today. Uh, we will solve this problem. As you can see here, uh, question number 40 says that determine the ratio RA of the force exerted by the sun on the moon to that of exerted by the earth on the moon for position A of the moon and repeat for position B. Here we can get a moon and these moons are exerted force by the suns and also by the earths. And we can ask to determine the ratio of the force exerted by the sun to the, that of the ratio of the force exerted by the moon on uh, at point A and at point B. In order to solve this problem, we must throw three wall diagram at point A. Here we can get moons and there is sun at point B. There here we can get a moons and here we can get earth. So at position A and B, the force exerted by the earth on the moons are constant because the radius not vary and the mass of the moon and the mass of the earth is a constant and also the gravitational force is also constant. So the force exerted by the earth on the moon at position A and B is the same. Then uh, we know about the mass of the Earth, which is equal to 5.976 uh, uh, times 10 to the power of 24 kilograms. The relative mass of the Moon equals to 0 0.01 to the mass of the Earth, and the relative mass of the Sun is equal to 333,000. That's, that's the mass of the Earth. And the mean distance between the Moon and the Earth is uh, the distance between all the same. Oh, the mean distance between the um, Moon to the Earth is this value and the distance between the earth and the sun is this value or it is one astronomical unit so you can calculate the force exerted by the sun on the moon and uh, the force exerted by the sun uh, the earth on the moon by using the Newton law of gravity motion uh, at, po at position A uh, for sun is equal to gravity now constant times mass of sun times mass of moon over r1 plus r square because here we can get the distance between the sun to moon and here we can get r2 this is also the distance okay. then simplify this we can simplify this and gravity and constant and mass of moon is known and finally we get this and also we can calculate the force exerted by the moon by using the following equation gravity and constant mass of r times mass of moon over r square and we can simply substitute the value and we can get this after this we will get the ratio of the two forces the force that is exerted by the sun on the moon the force exerted by the sun on the earth and we get the ratio uh, from the previous as a light, we can get the, the force to this and this, and we can simply simplify this and we get 2.19. It is a simple task, you can do it by yourself. At position B, also, we can the force exerted by the moon on the earth is the same, and the force exerted by the sun on the moon is vary because the distance is also vary and we can calculate this force 3 and simply divide force 3 by force 2 and we we'll get the final answer this uh, as you can see this problem is very easy first determine the force between uh, the sun and the earth and the earth to the sun so we can simply calculate that force and we'll get your final answer it's the same as question number 13. On the next video, we will show how you can solve question number 15. Until that, I enjoy the rest of your time. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like uh, this video and share it for your friends.